back to my channel so you might notice a little bit of a difference with the color and everything I actually got to like two professional lighting systems to start filming my videos in my dorm a bit more higher quality and um, I'm still kind of fiddling around with it I am not sure how to set up my white balance and something is wrong with my camera so I feel like I look a little bit green but hopefully the tutorial looks better but you'll be the judge tell me if you like this kind of setup I think the like color payoff is a lot better but I still think I need to adjust the temperature a little bit but hopefully in the next like few videos it will be much much better but today I'm doing a really really fun makeup tutorial for the holiday season very kind of dark but at the same time glamorous and sparkly which for holiday season go with the glow go with the sparkle this is the season to enjoy it so uh, yeah it's a really cool tutorial I kind of like it also as promised in my previous video where I told you I'm gonna show you how to use pigments and uh, make it more like easy to use because I usually if I have pigments I'll just make a cream shadow out of them because that way it's a lot less messy and much better so yeah if you want to see how to achieve this look right here then just keep watching the video Alright, so I'm starting with my eyeshadow primer potion from Urban Decay and this is in the shade Eden. I love the shade because it neutralizes any redness and also makes the shadows last a lot longer and look a lot more pigmented. So I'm just pressing it into my eyelids and then later on, because I'll be using pigments and the ones I'll be using today are actually from Tanya Burr Cosmetics and the shade I have is um, Starry Night, I believe. I'm gonna mix it up with the um, eyeshadow primer potion actually with a synthetic brush so that I actually end up with a cream eyeshadow and then I'm just gonna pack it onto the eyelid up to the crease shaping it more into a round shape and I'm not gonna go past the crease just because I really want to focus that right up there because if I go past it it's just gonna look very muddy and weird and you don't want that and then I'm just kind of slightly gonna blend out the edges then I'm gonna go into my Sigma eyeshadow palette this is their brilliant and spellbinding eyeshadow palette that I absolutely adore and with a fluffy crease brush I'm just gonna apply it above the blue pigment that we just applied and as you can see this is just gonna act as a transitioning shade and then I'm going to take this mustardy color from the same shade on a smaller pencil brush and I'm going to work it right into the crease. Now you might notice that this is kind of going to tone down the intensity of the blue pigment, but I'm actually going to later on go back to the synthetic brush I was using before and kind of revamp the color right where I want it, but keep that gradient effect from before. After that, I'm gonna move on to the liquid liner. I'm using my L'Oreal Linear Intense Liquid Liner in black. I know I'm probably getting really, really boring with this, but this is just the best liquid liner because it's so wet and it just glides on the eyelid so nicely. So I'm just doing a line along my lash line. I'm not gonna wing it out because this is such a dark look, I don't think it needs it, but if you wanna do something a bit more daring, definitely go for it. And now is the time when I'm gonna be applying my uh, foundation. Today I'm using my uh, Chanel Perfection Lumiere which if you have been following me in the past like two three months you will know this is like my holy grail foundation i have the shade number two beige or 20 beige and i'm applying it with my uh, complexion sponge from real techniques which is again another holy grail and this just gives a really beautiful flawless finish that looks very natural and then I'm going to highlight underneath my eyes. Today I'm using my MAC Pro Longwear Concealer in the shade NC15. And this is a lot lighter than my skin tone. So it's really going to brighten up underneath the eyes. Um, I think if you're using blue pigments or royal colors, I just think it's really a necessity to highlight underneath the eyes. Otherwise, it can look very kind of dull and make you look very tired and almost kind of sickly. So highlighting is a must with these kinds of shades. But I think nothing beats a really beautiful nail navy smoky eyes especially with so much glitter we'll be using I just think it's perfect for the holiday season then I'm actually gonna bake my concealer now baking technique is using basically a powder to set everything in place and applying it very heavily and that way you kind of let the concealer bake onto your skin it's gonna last a lot longer and look super super flawless so I'm just using a really light powder from L'Oreal that I have and just pressing it with the sponge right over my concealer and then I'm just gonna fill in my brows with my dip brow pomade or uh, the brow fluid line from MAC in Deep Dark Brunette. Mm -hmm. 
When you're done with that, you can just take any kind of synthetic brush and shake off any excess powder that you have resting. And you will notice this will just make the under eyes super, super bright. And also it will last a lot longer and it won't smear your mascara, which is always a good thing. So yeah, this is a fun technique. Definitely something that I probably wouldn't do every single day, but for a glam glamorous look, I really did like it. And then I'm gonna use my soft call um, eyeliner pencil from Rimmel in the shade black. And I'm gonna apply this to my waterline and also apply line to really bring the whole look together and make it super dark and vampy. Um, if you have sensitive eyes, this is not a must, obviously you can skip this step, but I do really think it completes the look very nicely, so I just went ahead and did it. For my lower lash line, I'm gonna go back to the Sigma palette and I'm gonna take this gunmetally purpley color and on the smaller brush, I'm just gonna follow the other corners of my lower lash line and that way I'm just gonna darken it up and keep the inner part more light for the highlight that I'm gonna be applying in a minute. Then as always, I'm gonna go back to my blending brush and blend out the edges because the secret to any good blended smoky eye is obviously the blending. So I just keep going back to my brush to blend out the edges, soften it up and make everything look nice and smoky. And then after that, I'm gonna add some false lashes. These are my Lumine lashes in the st style Mystery Autumn. These are kind of demi lashes. They just go on the other corner and they just kind of give that flattery look without the whole, you know, full on lashes. A style which sometimes can be just overpowering this just adds a nice accent to the other corners looks really nice and feminine so I'm just popping those on the other edges and then I'm gonna add a bit of my Rimmel lash accelerator mascara in black and I'm just gonna kind of mash my lashes together and also apply it to my lower lashes and that I guess completes the eyeshadow look and then we can move on to the rest of the face Actually, no, that's wrong. Um, first, we need to highlight the inner corners and the brow bone. And today, I'm actually going back to my Inglot eyeshadow in uh, 453. If you follow me for a while, you will know this is the only highlighter I used to use. And now, I kind of fallen back into it, in love with it because it's just really intense, but it's glowing, you know? It's not a chunky glitter, so uh, it's just a really, really perfect shade. I absolutely love it. So, I'm just popping it on the inner corners and on my brow on and then I'm gonna use my glittery eyeliner from collection this is their glam crystal eyeshadow in the shade number three funk and I'm gonna apply it on the center and then use my ring finger to kind of distribute it onto the eyelid and this just adds the most beautiful glitter it's so subtle and so kind of I don't know it's just easy you know it's so much better than just using you know loose glitter and um, because it lasts the whole night and it just looks so much better so that is the completed eye look and now we can move on to the rest of the face so the first thing I'm gonna do is warm up my complexion and give back some structure using my bronzer this is from the body shop this is their honey bronzer in the shade number two and I absolutely love this color because it matches me perfectly it's just slightly deeper it just warms up the complexion and also kind of adds that perfect shine and then I'm gonna add a bit of color with my heavenly blush from P Sigma, not Pigma, Sigma. <laughs> and again, if you follow me for a while, you will know this is just, I love Sigma bl blushes. They're just so awesome. Pigmented, but they blend so easily, so I really like that. I'm gonna go back to the eyeshadow I was using to highlight my inner corners and I'm gonna use a smaller detail brush from Real Techniques to apply just to the tops of my cheekbones to give that kind of natural glow again I love the shade because it just really looks like you're glowing from within and not like chunky glitter on the tops of your cheekbones so I just think for the holiday season a highlighter is a must and then I'm gonna finish everything off with a lipstick this is from L'Oreal this is their La Matte or La Matte or whatever um, <laughs> lipstick Stick, and the shade I have is 102 so yeah that completes the whole look I hope you enjoyed it if you did don't forget to give it thumbs up and I'll talk to you guys super soon in my next video bye